Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Max Mirror Tech Talk, back with another video, and I bought another phone from Gazelle. Let's get into it. So, I picked up the Samsung S10e, and for those of you that don't know what that is, this was part of the S10 series. Let's see, one, two, three. This is three generations old from the current generation of S, uh, Galaxy S products. We're on the S21s now, and we'll, you know, in due time, within the next, I imagine, within the next six months, they'll have the S22s out. So this is what we got. This is the kind of box I ship it in. It took about four days to get here. I didn't pay for any expedited shipping, so... There's my dog in the background. Okay, so as usual, um, got a USB-A to USB-C charger. USB-A brick, I believe that's a five watt, yep, or five volt. I got the uh, Flamingo Pink, which, my god, this is my favorite color. So I'm just going to do a quick inspection, make sure it's actually in the condition they said it was. And, let me see, what is that? Okay, that's good. There are some smudges on here, I'm just making sure there's no... Uh, blatant scratching or whatnot. Let me get my cloth out here. Polish this up because this does look like it was handled a bit and not cleaned, which is a little pet peeve for me, but everything else otherwise. Ooh, that is not good. So I had paid for excellent condition on this. Alright, we're back. And um, so I don't know if you can see that. I paid for excellent condition. I paid about $250 for this uh, from Gazelle. And that's got a pretty significant chip in the metal there. I am definitely going to be calling them up. Uh, I'll try to get a replacement. But, um, geez, they really did not clean this thing whatsoever this time. That is disgusting. And it's also not coming off. <laughs> so, I suppose that's, um, okay, those are actually pittings. Uh, that's some scratching in there. So I will say my last two videos from them, I did get iPhones. And, uh, wow, this is really not in the condition they said it was. Okay. A little disappointed, to be honest with you. Um, I, I will be probably exchanging this. Um, but, and I did get some clarification about battery, because the last two iPhones I got from them were at 100% capacity, which I thought was actually very good for the price I had paid for those two. That was an original iPhone SE and an iPhone XS Max. Um, I will say the actual screen itself is fine. I don't see any obvious um, damage to the screen here, but the exterior, the rails here, back glass appears to be okay too, but there is some chipping around the rails here and um yeah to me i'm i'm not okay with that there's our bixby button remember those <laughs> volume rockers a bixby button all right let's boot it up so this is a uh, 60 hertz display this is all the s10 series were 60 hertz displays um i believe this is a full hd plus screen 
I did buy the T-Mobile variant. And we're just gonna breeze through the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and skip everything. Uh, let's see, start. One thing, oh, I forgot to mention, one thing they mentioned about batteries on their excellent condition phones, uh, which this clearly is not um, from the exterior, um, they guarantee at least 85% capacity. So take that for what it's worth. And Eastern, go ahead and set the time here. Next, skip, skip. So one reason I can think that um, this screen is in such good condition is because these phones were shipped from the factory with a screen protector. So that may have saved this screen from any potential damage. Uh, like scratching, whatnot, not necessarily cracks, because if you drop this thing, obviously it... All right, so the speaker works well. So the reason I want to do these videos, um, I'll put this aside for a second. Um, reason I want to do these videos is kind of give people an idea, can I save some money buying a used device? And the two iPhones I got, in the past, maybe I just got lucky, um, but my experience before this has generally been pretty good with Gazelle, and I will give them a second chance on this, and I, I will call them and say, hey, this isn't what was represented or what, what I paid for. I paid for an excellent condition phone, and there's clearly some cosmetic issues here, uh, particularly here, this chip. Yeah, let me see if I can get that, that chip. This is scuffed up here. And the rest I was able to polish out for the most part. It was just gunk, but some of it's, uh, that was fine. Um, but the other stuff wasn't necessarily. But other than the cosmetic issues, it appears to be in working order. Um, So, again, I paid um, about 250 for that through Gazelle, and I want to mention that this was the 128 gigabyte model, which entails a six gigabyte uh, six gigabytes of RAM, as the punch hole punch camera, dual cameras on the back, and uh, you can actually get Samsung certified refurbished direct from Samsung, you are gonna pay more money. That's the only caveat. And for the money you'd be spending, I'd caution you maybe buy a Pixel 4a if you can still find one. Um, but for 350 bucks, you're getting a refurbished phone, which will still, I believe this is due for at least one more OS update and an additional year after the OS update of security updates. So this is, going to be a usable phone for at least another two years for most folks. And that's, my experience today wasn't indic wasn't typical and my previous experiences were good, but I am going to call them and just see if they can address this. Cause um, I think I should at least give them that opportunity. Other than those cosmetic issues on the rails here, there does not appear to be any issue with the glass whatsoever. I'm looking, I don't see any obvious scratches, like I said, and the everything else appears to be working just fine. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, actually, let me do one more thing, make sure the camera's working. Right. That's good. Let's try something else. Let's see if I can get that. So 
I don't know if you can see that on camera, but Samsung has a tendency to push uh, color vibrancy like this. This is a much darker blue in real life on the cam on the screen here. It's coming out much brighter, so it's just uh, that's typical from for this era of camera. And that's another thing that happens. This had an an aperture that comes on. I don't know if you can. If you can see that, see the aperture move. So this has a variable aperture, which to me was um, pretty cool that they would do that. So you could get um, two different aperture sizes, but they uh, moved away from that after this, after they did it with this, um, they never really implemented it again. So. Um, Gazelle's return policy is, is very good. I've never had a problem with them in the past if I had to return something either. Um, this is actually the first time, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Give them a call and let them know, hey, you know. Honestly, I wanted the pink one. <laughs> I wanted the flamingo pink one. It's, this color is so underrated. I really like it a lot. And um, I wish they had kept this color, to be honest with you. To me, it's... Um, the coral color that they're using on the Pixel 6 is pretty similar to this on the top edge and then the past the camera bump on the new 6s. It's a little more muted on the bottom half, but I still like that color. So let me know what you all think. If you have any questions about this, leave, a, leave me some comments. I'll try to answer them. And um, thanks you all. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.